Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Lily Mae Mag Collection Lipsticks. So, she actually came out with her own line of lipsticks, which is pretty cool because you guys know a while back she collabed with Three Concept Eyes and she created lipsticks with them. But apparently, I don't know, I got a comment in that video saying that those shades were already part of their line. They just slapped her name on it. But it's cool to see that she came out with her own line of lipsticks because she's known for her palette. Pretty much in this video, I'm going to give you guys my review, hand and lip swatches and just talk about the shades and the formula so if you guys want to learn a little bit more then just continue watching so she launched three lipstick shades and we'll get onto the names and the shades a little bit later but let me give you a little bit of product info so these are $30 New Zealand dollars which to me is still quite pricey because for a MAC lipstick in New Zealand it's $40 so your $10 off it's pretty close so to me this is quite high-end see but I get it it's her first like actual product of her own company under her name Prices are kind of going to be a little bit more expensive because she's doing it kind of on her own, you know what I mean? Um, so I got mine off Shopo, which is an Australian uh, boutique, but I think that's the only place you can get it from. And yeah, I don't know, there wasn't anything about these lipsticks, like she didn't really talk them up as much. She didn't say anything about them. There aren't any claims on the website. There's not much to these lipsticks that I can give you. Like, all I know is that it's a satin cream lipstick. And that's it. There's no other claims. None on the box, none on the website. Just nothing. So this is what the packaging looks like. I love, love this packaging. Something I definitely would do as well. Just the white and gold. You got the names on the bottom. This is what the packaging looks like. It's like a light gold and it has her Lily Mae Mac collection logo on it. This is what it just turns out to be. I don't know if that's a lot of product. To me, it doesn't seem like a lot of product. And the packaging, to me, honestly, for 30 bucks that I'm paying, I don't think it's the best. I feel like for 30 bucks, it's quite cheap. I don't know, like, when you just click it up, it just feels very loose and it doesn't feel stable. I don't know, like that's such a minor thing. Of course, packaging is not like the biggest thing in the world, but for the amount of money I'm paying, I would want a better packaging. You know what I mean? Just being honest. So moving on to my opinion of these, um, the texture is very creamy and very buttery. I would say this isn't like your average lipstick. It's kind of between a tinted lip balm and a lipstick. Like somewhere just in between those two. I know those two are very different, but it's somewhere in between there. It's not like highly, highly pigmented. It's something you gotta build up um, and you can definitely blot down. It's very natural looking. It does have a satin finish to it. It's definitely not matte. It does transfer, so it's not gonna last as long as you would want it to. I definitely like the concept that you can um, use it just as like a tint over your lips. It will you could build it up to create an opaque color. So I like that it's like a day to night kind of where a lot of women out there could definitely use this on the go. I feel like for the nude shades, I don't really need a mirror. I could just slap it on and I'll be fine. It looks, it's very effortless. It's very hydrating. It's not drying on the lips, but there is a scent to it. I'm trying to find the certain scent because I have something that smells very, very similar to it, but I can't pinpoint it. In the beginning, honestly, it was very like, ugh, like I didn't like the smell, but the more you use it. I feel like this with a lot of makeup products in the beginning it smells really really bad but after you get used to it you're not even phased by it. But if you're like super super sensitive then just keep that in mind it does have like a scent and to me it is a little bit strong. You threw all my lipsticks trying to find the exact scent so you guys have something to compare it to but I couldn't find it but it does smell like something. So like I said they do transfer they're not that long lasting um, but they do fade out really nicely it just kind of rubs off evenly it doesn't crack up. I mean it wouldn't because it's not a matte lipstick. Also when you apply it you will instantly get butthole lips. Bunches up in the inner rims of your lips that sounded so wrong but yeah it just cakes up around there and I hate when lipsticks do that and it's just when I instantly apply it. I don't know if I'm applying too much or what it is but it does do that and I'm not a big fan of that. So to sum everything up overall do I think this is worth it? Do I recommend it to you guys? Honestly no. I don't. I mean, I love her. I love her collab with Three Concept Eyes. I just feel like for the price, it's not worth it. There definitely are better satin lipsticks out there. It is her first line, so I don't. I'm not gonna be like too harsh on it, but I wouldn't really recommend it just because of how much it just creases. I mean, it's super hydrating. It's a nice color, but it's not gonna last you that long. It is easy to reapply, but for thirty dollars, I just don't think it's worth it. If it was cheaper, maybe then I could recommend it. If you are a big fan of hers just get one. Yeah, that's just my thought. So overall to rate it, I probably would give it a five. So it's just in between. It's not the greatest. It's not the worst. Just 
in between. Okay, so now let's go on to the shades. The first shade we have here is called Naughty Nude. Naughty Nude is the color that I'm wearing right now and it is my favorite out of the bunch. It's just like a beautiful, rosy, mauve nude and I feel like this will suit a lot of skin tones as well. It's definitely my favorite. It's the most universal but you definitely could find dupes at other places. Although I did give it um, a 5 out of 10, just the shade alone, I'm just so obsessed with the shade that it does get to go on my top vanity just because I love this shade so much. Then next up we have Raunchy Rosehip. Did I say that right? I'm not too sure. Um, this one is a bit more pinky, like a muted fuchsia pink. The names really do describe it nicely. It's like a rosy color. It's this middle one here. To me, not my like everyday color, but it's definitely more wearable. It's like more like a deeper version of a naughty nude, more rosy as well. If you really want to get two, then definitely get these two nude ones because I really don't like the last shade, which is called Plumping Plum. Uh, this color, I don't know. Like I don't see myself ever wearing this. And I know I buy a lot of um, lipsticks and I, there's a lot of reds that I buy. I never wear a red lipstick. I never wear a purple lipstick. But this is like a color I would never ever wear. I mean on her it looks looks really good. And I've tried blotting it, I've tried, you know, applying like a lipstick. It's this one here. To me, it's like a cool tone purple gray. And it makes me look like I'm dead. Like I look very unhealthy. I look just not well. I don't I don't ever see myself wearing this. Maybe it'll come in a makeup tutorial, like one day, maybe it'll come handy. But I just don't see myself ever wearing this shade. I get maybe she wanted to, you know, have some diversity, just not have any nudes but this one's a bit too much out of my comfort zone I mean she rocks it she wears it a lot when I see on her Instagram but honestly for me and I feel like I speak for most of people on the everyday wear just not for me it just doesn't look good on me but yeah I mean if, if you can go outside the house and rock this kind of shade you do you Go you. I just can't. So that pretty much wraps everything for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy my review and my swatches. Again, I am not hating and all respect to her for starting her own business. I mean, I can only imagine how hard that is and just creating your own formula and everything like that. So I'm not too, like... Um, picky about it because it is her first line everybody's gonna start somewhere your first product is, isn't always gonna be like outstanding you know and hopefully she'll come up with more and improve her formula and different shades and that kind of stuff please like this video if you did find it helpful and also comment down below um, are you guys excited to try her collection out um, Shopo does ship worldwide so you guys all can get your hands on it um, yeah just let me know are you guys interested in trying this product out have you guys already tried it what do you guys think of it so yeah of course let me know in the comments down below I would love to know your opinion subscribe if you haven't already and until next time I'll see you guys in my next video bye